First of all, I want to start off talking about uh, coronavirus, um, the State Department's role here, uh, undertaking a massive effort at repatriating uh, over 50,000 Americans, bringing them back from overseas. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, what went into bringing tens of thousands of Americans home from abroad? Um, it has been a monumental, unprecedented effort that we've done at the State Department. Uh, we've actually never had to do anything like this before. So typically, if we have to evacuate Americans out of a situation or repatriate them, what normally happens is there's like, you know, a hurricane or a tsunami or some sort of uh, event. Maybe there's violence in a particular country and, and Americans can't get out. And that's when we would go in and help repatriate them. We've never in the history of the State Department had a challenge where we had to bring tens of thousands of Americans home. So as you just said, we brought home over 50,000. Secretary Pompeo announced that at the White House yesterday with President Trump. Uh, this is from over 90 countries. I mean, it's just sort of mind boggling when you really start thinking about the effort. So that's 90 different governments that we had to work with. And, and that means that there were no commercial airline uh, airlines available for these Americans to get out of. So we were working with U.S. carriers and, and other airlines. We were chartering aircraft. In some cases, uh, we were working with the military. And we, uh, Secretary Pompeo has literally had a team 24-7 at the State Department working on this. And, and of course, our foreign service officers, our American diplomats on the ground, um, are often staying in countries at their own, uh, you know, of course, their own risk to their own health and safety. But they're doing it to make sure that we can get every American home. From how many countries did the State Department have to work with in terms of getting all of these Americans yeah. back? I think as of this morning, we're at 94, but it's definitely over 90 countries around the world. It's been a massive effort. And there are still obviously a lot more Americans out there. How would you put an estimate on it in terms of? Yeah, we have somewhere in between 20 to 25,000. Uh, that number changes um, every day. Um, we have a process and anybody who's listening or watching can go to step.state.gov. Um, I'll say that one more time. It's step, S-T-E-P, dot state, dot gov. And if you're overseas and you want to get home and there's no commercial options available to you, you can register there and we'll work to try to get you home. But we ask all Americans overseas not to wait to take this seriously. You know, like I said earlier, if this was a tsunami or some sort of event like that, you, you wouldn't wait to get home. And, and we really don't want people to wait until... It's too late.